Thanks for downloading SiteGrinder 3. This video series will get you started in installing SiteGrinder onto your computer. After you finish downloading SiteGrinder 3, double click your downloads folder. You'll then see the zip folder where you can double click to get to the installer. When you double click the install SiteGrinder application, the installer will launch. And this is the SiteGrinder software license agreement. Go ahead and read that and then click I agree. In this section you can choose to have a desktop shortcut to the documentation and it will also open up the readme file in your browser. Great news Windows users, Adobe has finally released Flash Player in 64-bit mode. That means that you can run Photoshop in 32 and 64-bit mode and have SiteGrinder run with it. When you're ready to install, click the install button. The README file will load up in your default web browser. It has links to the essentials guides, the reference guides, and the learning center. These are some great tools to learn SiteGrinder. During the installation process, you had an option of selecting the SiteGrinder 3 README to be installed on your desktop. That'll put the shortcut there. Now that SiteGrinder has been installed on your computer, you can now load it up in Photoshop. You can choose between your 32-bit mode, or now you can load it up in 64-bit mode. We're going to load it up in the 64-bit mode for this example. SiteGrinder can then be reached from going into the File menu in Photoshop, then down to Automate, and then SiteGrinder 3. Once you load SiteGrinder 3 for the first time, you'll notice a window on the right. This is the SiteGrinder 3 engine. It's a link to your previous PSD files and your recent build files and also your recent deployed sites. Then on the left is the main SiteGrinder 3 window. If you don't have a PSD file open, there will be a little window that will pop up that will allow you to open up a sample file. This is a great way of learning SiteGrinder. You'll notice that the browser window is opening up too. This is the design manager. This is something that you'll be working quite a bit in, but we'll get to that in just a second. For now, let's go back into Photoshop. This is the working PSD file. It's made up of various layers. You've got your text layers, your graphic layers, your adjustment layers, layers with layer effects on them. They're also given special SiteGrinder hints so that SiteGrinder knows how to build these to make them a web page. All right, now going back into the design manager, you're going to notice the pages on the left, the home page, the contact page, the store page. These all came from your PSD file. This is what SiteGrinder does, is it takes those hinted layers and then it will build it into a fully functional website for you. And the great part was, no coding required. 